Here's a PTO driven engine, car engine air compressor built uh, maybe 15, 18 years ago and uh, it's made out of a, what used to be a sickle mower. I can't remember the name, the brand of it or anything. Uh, the drive shaft was off that original machine. Uh, I had built this thing and didn't have a proper tractor to run it and, I, and it terrified the crap out of me to have to go up to the back of the tractor beside that drive shaft while it was working. So to accommodate the drive shaft and the engine length, I lengthened the uh, the hitch and just dropped a piece into there. So this crazy crooked axle is not my doing, it came that way. And I added some flywheel weight onto it to give it a little more, because uh, it doesn't have a flywheel like a clutch. It had the converter on there for, so there was, I had a heavy plate I mounted on. Uh, there's, uh, so it's just basically a 250 gas engine out of a 1974 Maverick. I left the timing chain and everything intact because the camshaft had to run the oil pump to lubricate the engine. Uh, the distributor I just put a filter base over top of it here to keep the elements out. Dipstick same as usual, the radiator out of the car and uh, I left the carburetor on with the air cleaner just to filter the air. The carburetor does nothing but hold the air cleaner. The uh, fuel pump is just disbanded here <laughs> anyway, I put a hoop on at the time for the uh, in case the drive shaft blew off. I had a little bit of a hoop to catch some of the flying parts, and it didn't uh, work well on the other tractor. The tractor was too small. It was a little W9 distillate, and it it didn't have the poop to really run this thing nicely as compared to this tractor. And if it would have run this good before, maybe I would have used it more. But that business of getting off and on the platform next to that shaft spinning, it, it was just too frightening for for. Uh, what resolve I have. <clears throat> so it has an unloader mechanism. I'm looking in here, what I did was thread the, you can see this piece of thread here for an adjustment with a big nut welded on it and basically a solid shaft going through underneath the, the lifters. And uh, so as this actuator pulls on the arm, it rotates that shaft and brings these, uh, these points, lifts the rocker unloads the valve and then the uh, the engine turns or the compressor turns with uh, with not making any compression so that I thought that was kind of a cool thing in a way when I look at it here now I'd forgotten how I'd done that so the the head is threaded and the uh, these are drain holes that used to hold the uh, used to hold the push rods so I threaded a couple at the ends and that's an adjustment to get this bar right very light springs. I'll try and get in close so you can see it. Very light springs just on the intake valves so that as the pistons are going down, it's now a two-stroke, the pistons are going down, uh, it sucks air in past the intake valve and then it closes again on compression and puts it out through a check valve that is mounted on the, on the spark plug holes. It goes into this manifold. So the, uh, yeah, other than that, the Exhaust valves are all silicon shut, that are just assembled again because the only the only valve that works as being a two-stroke is the is the intake valve. So the anyway, that's about it. The as you can see, it still sort of resembles an old uh, sickle mower, but not so much. Hmm.